welcome back to another video. Um, I'm jumping on. I filmed my April closeout yesterday and I've been to the bank today and got my cash out. So I thought while I've um, been to the bank and before we've basically spent it all, I would go through and uh, do a little bit of cash stuffing, which you know we don't do often here. Are you finished talking? <laughs> so... Welcome, if you're new, a uh, quick recap. We're a family of five. We live in South Australia, in Australia. It's myself, my partner, and our three children. So we've got a school-age child, a pre-kindy, and a baby. He's not a newborn baby anymore. Um, he's about six months old now, so I guess he's just a baby. <laughs> I've been and, um, like I said, got our money out for... <clears throat> Our cash this week um, I've got all the money out except for let's see uh, fuel because we put that into a bank account um, so that we can just use it straight on our shop back app so and um, I did go to the shops I had to get some bits and pieces uh, from Audi that's where we get our groceries from so I just needed a few things like nappies etc um, and then I had to go and buy some birthday cards as well and I know we didn't have gifts in here but that could probably just come out of like they were only two dollars a dollar for each card I bought two so look they've probably just come straight out of the grocery <clears throat> money so it was about fifty dollars uh, that I spent on groceries so we're only going to put in a hundred and probably more take that out two four six I'll put in a hundred and forty um, just to even it up so I've got all my money here actually went into the bank today which was a whole thing because I realized then that um I didn't have the stroller in my car it's here in the house and I didn't have like the baby carrier or anything so going in with the pre-kindy child and then the baby my arms sort of were full trying to get things out of my pocket it was just I, I remember now why I don't <laughs> go and do things when I've got sort of all the kids if I'm not prepared um, but it was nice just to get them out of the house for a bit and now hopefully uh, the older one is down for a nap so hopefully we don't get interrupted. I don't know. I like to have all the little windows all facing that way. Now we've got um, a fair bit of money left over from the previous weeks because we were all sick with that tummy bug. We didn't eat really anything other than toast probably for about four days. <laughs> so it's actually done really good um, for our food budget. We were only doing 150 and you can see here I've got $85 left out of 150. So we really didn't spend anything at all. Um, and our freezer is full at the moment. So I can see this next uh, lot of money that we're going to put in. It will go quite far. This is my cash binder. It's really grubby. It just lives in a drawer. And I don't have nice, beautiful, fancy envelopes. I just have the ones that came with it and I wrote on it with a Sharpie, if you can see there. And that's how mine, mine are. Because I'm on a budget and I don't have money to spend on those sort of extra things. So let me just find my silly little calculator here and try to come up with a bit more of a... Okay, so groceries this week was 200 Spent $2 on the cards. And then, okay. So we need to put in 146 Now, these coins we're not going to put in. So we're going to put 145 This is our new coin jar. The last time you would have seen we had one of the, like, ones that had the $10 note on it. This one's twice the size so I'm hoping then that will mean we'll get twice the amount of money back all of our silver coins go straight in here I don't count them when I put them in I just check them to make sure they're not 
you know, special coins or anything like that. And then they go straight in there. So don't count them because then it's a nice surprise. Our gold coins, we've just got a old jam jar. And we put our gold coins in here uh, just because having, like if you've got school kids, you'll know having gold coins around the house is super handy. I just want to double check this again. Yep. So here's our cash from last week. And we're going to do another... Yes. So we're putting in, it's over here, 145 we decided. So okay. 50, 70, 90, 200. Sorry, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 5. So that's going to go in with our 85 that we had from the previous week. And so we're basically chock-a-block full uh, with our cash here for our food one. Okay. I'm going to put that in here. I haven't done the fuel uh, transfer over yet. So my next envelope I've got in here is house so house was going to get 50 and this is just for things like gosh it's a bit of a mess uh light bulbs maybe you know if we need some anything for the garden uh it's not for cleaning products or household goods as such it's for like home maintenance or you know when we want to do a few things around the home that's what this home money is for so that's why it doesn't get much often because if it's for the like toilet paper or cleaning supplies of course there'd be more money going into it so we've got 50 there in house and that had nothing in it uh, gifts has there's a hundred dollars in gifts that was from last week um i put aside a hundred dollars for mother's day obviously it's not been so it's still in here so that was for just in case any of like our siblings were like hey let's take one like our mum out for dinner or something that we had some money set aside if that you know came up which it, it hasn't yet so i can't see it uh, being a thing now so we'll probably use that money to go out ourselves as a family for mother's day um and so fun here has 50 we're going to put that because our fun and gifts are the same thing so i might actually no it's fine we'll just 5 10 15 20 25 30 40 50 because most of the time fun is stuff for the kids so like maybe it's even just going to like mcdonald's and buying a soft serve cone five dollars is actually good for that so i'm going to put it here in gifts but our gifts and fun is the same category it's just that's what's being written on that envelope so now we've got 150 in there so that'll be um a really nice weekend out for us and so I didn't think this through, did I? Because now we've got $5 left over because of all the coin. That's fine. We're just going to then put 45, so 20, 30, 45 into medical. So this is just to have on hand to go to the chemist because our doctor, they don't accept cash. You have to pay electronically, like with a card. So $45 is fine, um, and that's just because of the change situation. And so it'll throw out my figures. I'm going to have to put 50, but we know there's only 45 because that's how I do my cash. It's what I pull out, and then what happens to it. Like, I account for that amount, where it ends up, whether it ends up in the jar here or the big coin jar that doesn't matter i'm only accounting for what i'm pulling out of the bank not where it's going i don't actually have an envelope for medical so i'm just going to put it in a spare one that i've got at the back here um and i don't know where my sharpie's gone 
to write on there so I'll have to just um, make something else up for now put a little post-it note in there so our cash envelope is fully loaded again ready for the week to come I usually go and get my cash out on uh, Wednesday today's Thursday and I just usually when I go out and about I use this little coin purse for our cash which is actually one of my daughters and I claimed it so like I said the fuel will be done electronically and then all of these sinking funds if you watched my previous video I sort of explained a bit more about how I don't do those in a traditional sense those again are also electronic so you'll see here once I um, transfer that money over like that'll be the reg paid in full because I had said we only only needed 135 more so we will have all the funds then to pay that registration for the vehicle in full and birthday now we I had allocated $200 per child for their birthdays so our eldest whose birthday is coming up hers is the first one she's had her money spent so she has three presents and she's getting a cake that she wanted and we get our cakes made by like a cake lady and they're amazing and we all love it and it's we all think it's worth it so that came out of her birthday money because she didn't want you know just an ice cream cake from the shop she wanted to have a nice birthday cake that was her choice that's fine so that came out of her $200 of her birthday money she has thrown out the idea of like maybe I'd like to have a party um, I'm not too sure if we'll do that just because we've been to a few and then like COVID sort of a few have had to be rescheduled because people have had COVID that sort of thing so I thought maybe I would let her pick you know one or two friends and we would go out maybe to go do like tempin bowling or something like that that we don't do very often um, and just treat her but we've got a bit of time if we choose to do that we can save up some money and you know have a nice day out for her but there's five people in our family just here so it's like having a party anyway and then uh, she's got all her cousins that live nearby too so I'm not too worried about it and she's not the sort of kid that would be demanding a party she's very happy with you know whatever she gets she's happy with that so um, that's everything for today uh, you may have seen on my Instagram I'll just show you this I've decided to start I never use this side for anything um, a little I guess like to-do list for the week so I know this is in the money thoughts section but I thought this is my like what I want to get done in the week because I'm always looking at this I'm not always looking at our big planner that might only come out like once a week when I'm sort of planning what we're having for dinner but I thought this I'm always tinkering with my book so I thought I'd put it in here because I've been a bit slack because I had been sick with them um, the videos and that I thought I'll just put a reminder in here now and would continue that for you know this month and see how it goes just to remind me like don't forget get your video up um, I've decided I'm going to start doing a gratitude journal just three days a week and just because I don't want to put too much pressure on myself you know just to sit down and write out like what am I grateful for I thought I picked like three things what am I grateful and why am I grateful for them so I did one today and I didn't do like why but it's sort of explanatory I think um, it was you know I'm grateful that I have the ability to work from home around my children that my workplace give me that. I am grateful that myself and my partner, we both have stable jobs now that he's not in the trade industry. And I'm grateful for my children and their, you know, their large personalities. Sometimes I forget and, you know, they drive me absolutely crazy. But I, you know, need to remind myself that I'm grateful for their personalities, no matter how big they are. <laughs> And then uh, move my body. So I just did a 20 minute um, yoga session, just watching a beginner's yoga on YouTube. So I did that this morning and my body feels really great. So I wanna just only try to do that for the beginning, you know, move my body two days of the week. And this week I'm going to do yoga. So that's what I've decided. And then we can see next week, maybe we'll try something different. Um, it's getting to winter now here 
where I live, it's quite cold. So I don't know, you know, going for walks and that sort of thing. The sun is setting quite early. So that might not be happening. I'm happy just to do the yoga, just to move my body, stretch it out, move it in a different way. So that's something else that I've got going on. I'm going to leave it here now uh, on this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for um, all of your support so far. It means so much. Again, sorry for the lighting. I'm going to have to rethink um, the time of day, obviously, when I do these because the sun is just, it's, there's clouds outside. The sun's hitting the clouds and then that light is beaming back through. It's really bright. Um, I'll see you all on the next video. Thank you again for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.